Hi, how's it going? So today I have a very mixed haul. It's kind of a large haul. It is mostly books, but I also have some random things. Like I have some fall clothing and I also have like a few things that I got my daughter for Christmas. I am shopping early. Uh, I kind of start shopping for Christmas around September. And I also do a lot of thrift shopping for like books. So when I see a book that I think, you know, um, my daughter has so many right now that I think she might like in the future. I might put it aside for like a Christmas or birthday gift because her birthday is in January. So yeah, so I have a very, very mixed haul. I'm going to link everything in the description, probably from Amazon, but I'm also going to mention where I got everything. It's mostly thrift stores, Amazon, like half price books, thriftbooks.com, Target, and also like Goodwill. I found a Goodwill bookstore in Austin. And um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is, this is brand new. This is from Amazon. This is Professor Astrocat's Atomic Adventure. I love this series. We have another one that's for Professor Astrocat's Astrocat. And so uh, I honestly bought this book because I was thinking of using it for science for fifth grade. It says Atomic Adventure, A Journey Through Physics. And I, but then I decided that I was probably going to do like a, um, maybe like my daughter's in fifth grade, but maybe do like a physics unit for sixth grade because now we're working on chemistry. And so I got this book thinking it could be like a spine for our physics unit. So I'm, I'm going to put it aside for next year. And someone might say, oh, it's kind of young, but I don't think so. I still like looking at picture books. It's very, anything that's visually stimulating, I honestly don't care how old my daughter is. So yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not, I mean, it's definitely like a, um, I don't know. I don't know what age it's intended for, but I still think it would be a very nice book for sixth grade. I would love to collect all of the Astro Cat books. So yeah, so this one's Atomic Venture. I love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna start getting into mixings. Oh, okay, so this is another brand new thing. So this I actually got for my daughter's advent. I'm doing a book advent for her for uh, Christmas. And so she said that she really wanted to read this is Wings of Fire Legends Dragon Slayer. I believe that they have two of the Legends book, which is um, by Tuiti Sutherland. Who created the wings of fire series she she finished the entire wings of fire series which she absolutely loved and these are like a, i think this is like a standalone book about a particular dragon if i'm correct and so um i'm collecting books for her book advent but i'm also collecting books for her birthday because her birthday is right after christmas so whether she gets this in her book advent or she gets it for her birthday it was a book that she requested, so I decided to just put it aside. So yeah, so that's the second one, and it's middle grade fantasy. Okay, I'm trying to see what else is from Amazon to continue that theme versus getting into the thrift store books. I guess it doesn't matter. That might be the only two things that are brand new. Um, okay, so this is an adult book. Yikes. This is an adult book. I have mostly middle grade here, but this is one of my adult selections. I actually found this Goodwill in Austin that is mostly books and I haven't had good luck with the Goodwill that's closest to me which is mostly random items and uh, I usually go to Savers thrift store which I find a lot of cool stuff but anyway I happened to find this Goodwill in Austin that was mainly books and I um this is just a classic D.H. Lawrence Lady Chatterley's if I'm saying that correctly lover so this is just a classic um, literature book that I thought sounded interesting after reading about it. Yeah, it's like Lady Chatterley's, Chatterley, sorry if I'm saying that correctly, spent her days acting out her role as wife to her husband, Clifford, who is wheelchair bound due to a war injury. The couple take satisfaction from their domestic tranquility, but grow apart. So it sounds like it could be interesting in the life of like a married couple okay so now here's another book for myself it's kind of presented as a picture book as like a kid's book but this is from thriftbooks.com i did place a thriftbooks.com order 
Um, but I decided to just mix everything together because it would be too many different <laughs> videos. Okay, so this is Evergory. I love Evergory. I actually just did a October TBR video um, where I talked about I, my I showed my Evergory collection. But now I'm adding another book to it. I wish I would have got this before that video. But yeah, so this is a doubtful guess by Evergory. I think his books are are meant for adults, even though they're like picture book ish. But I'm not a hundred percent sure. This one's really fun. Um, so this one, the original copyright was 1957. I love his black and white illustrations. So this is all about, it's like when they answered the bell on that wild winter night, there was no one expected and no one in sight. And it ends up being this like, what do you call it? I don't know, it's this like little weird animal. I don't know if it's like a penguin or it looks like kind of penguin-ish, but not really. It's this animal with, I don't know what it, if they say what it is. I haven't, I need to reread it, but I just got it. So I'm excited. It's just like um, animal that like shows up to this to their house, and he is very naughty or she. I'm not sure, but yeah. And so it's just whimsical, and he wears sneakers, but it looks like he's wearing Converse. <laughs> um, it's like in the style of like Converse, and it's just like this weird animal. So it's just fun and whimsical. I highly recommend Aragori if you like. This one isn't really that dark, but a lot of his books are like very dark sense of humor, but this one's like just more like he's kind of like annoying, but it's just funny. Okay. Um, so this one's from Goodwill. Another one from those like good the Goodwill books. This is a really nice hardcover uh of Matilda. So my daughter read Matilda, she was like a paperback, but I never read it. And after I read Leva at Last by Sarah Pennypacker which is very, very much, I think, inspired by Matilda. I wanted to give the original Matilda a try by Roald Dow. So this is just one my daughter and I will have in our collection. And I just thought it was so pretty for two bucks. So yeah, this will be ours. Okay, now these are some that my daughter picked from Savers Thrift Store. This is a Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. So I believe, I don't know if this is middle grade or YA, but it's one of those like really popular books that, you know, a lot of young readers, you know, middle grade slash, oh, well, this child that owned it before says fifth grade. So it's probably middle grade. But yeah, honestly, don't know much about The Hunger Games. It's like, it's a shining capital surrounded by 12 outlying districts. The capital is harsh and cruel and keeps the districts in line by forcing them all to send one boy and one girl between the ages of 12 and 18 to participate in the annual Hunger Games. Oh, wow, this gets kind of dark. To fight to death on live TV, yikes. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, like, I don't, my daughter reads so much, I don't pre-read anything, I would literally not get nothing else done. So, hopefully it won't be too violent. Um, yeah, I wanna say this is giving me YA vibes. But since the protagonist is between the age of 12 and 18, it tells me. So yeah, so hopefully it'll be okay. She's not scared of stuff like I am. And I mean, she's she picked it out. Okay, so now we have one of our favorite authors. This is also picked out from um, Savers Thrift Store. And this is Stuart Gibbs, Space Case. So he wrote the Spy School series. And he wrote all these different series um, with different themes. Like animals, space like spy they're kind of like mysteries and so she wants to try this one life on the moon is a snooze you wouldn't think it but being one of the first kids to live on the moon colony isn't all it's cracked up to be so yeah so she really likes his writing okay so this one is a book we are that my daughter read tristan strong punches a hole in the sky I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but this book she already read, but she read it from the library. And it's one of her favorite books, so she said she wanted to own it. She wants to reread it. So this one came from um, Savers Thrift Store also, and um, just like middle grade fantasy. And she said she really likes the writing, and she really likes it. So, and Tristan Strong is a character that's a seventh grader. He feels anything was strong ever since he failed to save his best friend when they were in a bus accident. All he has left is of Eddie is the journal his friend wrote stories in. He's dreading the month he's gonna spend on his grandparents' farm in Alabama where he's sent to heal from the tragedy. But in the forest, first night there, a sticky creature shows up in his bedroom and steals his journal. He chases it. Is that a doll? Through the forest, tug of war, ensures by his grandmother's mysterious and off-limits bottle tree. 
So yeah, I think it's, I don't know if it's fancy. I said it was fancy. I mean, it looks very much like fancy. It's like rooted in African-American folklore and it's a Rick Riordan Presents, which, so, yeah. I don't know, but she really loves it. So yeah, she just wanted to own it. Okay, so this was, okay, let me see, let me, okay. So this was one I picked for her for a gift. Um, this is, I got from thriftbooks.com. Um, this is Dragons and Fantasy Drawing Made Easy. So, so it's very tiny. When you look at books online sometimes, I mean, I don't sit there and read the dimensions each time, but it has like a lot of really nice drawings. She requested for Christmas a fantasy drawing book. She wants a, a book to draw different fantasy creatures. And so she really is really good at drawing very detailed. And so I, I looked at their preview of this one on Amazon and it looked really nice. So yeah, so I wish it kind of was a little bit thicker, but I mean, I only paid, I didn't pay very much for it. It's like 64 pages, so it's okay. I definitely think it'll give her a lot of ideas, even though it's not as big as I thought it was going to be. But yeah, so I don't know if this is gonna be in her book advent or um, if it's gonna be like just another standalone, but I'm gonna save it for Chris. I'm gonna kind of clean it up. I need to take all the stickers off. Okay. So continuing with books from thrift stores. So these two I actually showed on my Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, but I just wanted to show them real quick in the video in case not everybody might not be on Instagram or follow me. So this is um, Walt Disney's Alice in Wonderland. Just, I'm not gonna go too much into it. It's just a cute little, I've always wanted this book. They have different versions of this Disney one, but this one's the 1996 one. I just love the old illustrations. And I wanted to own it. So I kind of bought this one for myself. And then this is The Three Little Kittens. This one, oh my gosh, I had such a nostalgia moment with this book. I used to have this book when I was a kid. Don't know what happened to it. And I, I saw it at Savers. And I get this like feeling that goes through my brain where it's like you have these memories all like whooshing in. And you're like, oh. <gasps> I had that book. I don't know. It's just like, I can't, you can't, it's like almost like a high. Like you can't mimic that. And like, I was so excited. Oh my gosh. So three little kittens. Here's the illustrator. I'm really bad at pronouncing names. Lillian Obligato. Okay. Um, so it's kind of in really rough shape, but that's okay. I love the colors and the decorations in their house. It's very like mid-century modern. Uh, let's see, when was this book? Sorry, Ooh, I don't want to be too rough. When was this book? 1974. Yeah, so very 70s, coming out from the, coming back from the 60s, like 50s. Of course, her inspiration, I think, was like, it's very 70s, very, like, you know, just reminds me of just the whole, like, 50s, 60s, 70s, um, copyright 70s, but still, like, I love it. I love the little cats, and they're cute. Oh, it's just so cute. I love it. I, I love her illustration style. I love that in a lot of old picture books. You can still find illustrations like this, but you can see the hands. You can see the pencil marks and or um, just the brush strokes. It looks like probably ink and watercolor or maybe, I don't know if it's like a pencil, the outline. I'm not sure if it's ink. I can't tell, but you can just, I, I think this is actually, you can even see the pencil. But I just love that when you can just see the hand and the work and like the pride that she must have felt creating that. I just love it. I just love it. Okay, so the next set of books are a collection of books I'm gathering to give as gifts because they're very gently used. And I'm probably going to put a note that they're like gently used. Um, but yes, yeah, so these are all books. Wait, I take that back. One is for my daughter. I'm going to show you that one after. These are all books that my daughter loves that we're giving as gifts. Okay, so the first one is Wish Tree by Katherine Applegate. Very nice copy. We already own it, and I was like, wow, this would make a really good gift. It's almost perfect, and so I'm going to give this book as a gift because it's approved by us. We love it, so we're going to give it as a gift. And then this one, also very good condition, has a few little blemishes, but Saving Winslow by Shannon, Sharon Creech. This one I didn't read, my daughter read, but she really had this like Sharon Creech moment in like second grade maybe where she wanted to read all of her books and she really loves this author. So on, per her suggestion, we decided to get it 
as a gift for someone because she already owns it. So that's going to be another gift. Um, I really like, unless it's nonfiction, I really like to give books as gifts that we've already read that are fiction so that I know it's something like I would recommend and there's nothing in it that's, you know, I don't know, like just, I'm like, okay, this is Holly approved, Portis approved. <laughs> okay, so i um, thinking, you know, hopefully they'll like it because sometimes when you take a chance on a novel, like blindly, even for me, it's like, I don't know what's in there until I read it and I don't want to give somebody something that I wouldn't like. So this one, again, my daughter has, owns it, uh, Guts by Raina Telgemeier. Um, this is a graphic novel and it's in really good condition as you can tell and I think it'd be a really nice gift and so we're gonna give this as a gift this was these are most so these are all from like Goodwill or Savers thrift store and so yeah so we own it and we're gonna gift it that copy and then this one my daughter picked out also to give as a gift and this is Spencer Quinn Wolf so this is another middle grade fiction that's kind of like a mystery and you know, Bowser's a dog, and my, so I, again, did, like, I read this, really enjoyed it, but I didn't read this one, but she did, so, just a mystery with a protagonist of a dog, based in the Louisiana swamp, which we're, I'm actually from Louisiana, um, Bowser's handsome and only slightly slobbery dog, and he can smell lots of things, like bacon and chews, and the sweat on humans when they're lying. Birdie, the girl Bowser lives with, also knows something is wrong. It's just not that her granny's, sorry, Grammy stuffed prize Marlin has been stolen. So this one's a mystery. Okay. So the next book is a book that my daughter picked for herself. This is um, Brave Lands Book One, the series by Aaron Hunter, which I believe is a group of authors under the name Aaron Hunter. So she's tried other books. Um, by Aaron Hunter, which they have quite a few series, mostly if not all based on animals. I wanna say like Spirit Animals, I believe, is from the same people. But yeah, so my daughter wants to try this one. For generations, the African plains have been ruled by a strict code, only kill to survive. But some animals stop at nothing in their thirst for power. When an unthinkable act of betrayal threatens to shatter the long-standing peace, Three young animals, a lion, elephant, and a baboon, are thrust together in an epic battle for survival. Sounds interesting. Okay, so that's my daughter. This one's just going to be for her to read now. Okay, so now I have a few mixed things, and then I have some clothing items and random things. Okay, so this I picked out for myself. This is Chopin. Um, this is... I don't know if it's, it's just like Chopin doesn't see... But I really like classical music. Oh, see, like, it's okay. Like, this is from a thrift store, so I'm not expecting. It was only, oh, this was 99 cents from Goodwill. I don't know if I said savers, but it's from Goodwill. And I don't care that the front, that the cover's messed up for 99 cents. Uh, I really like to listen to classical music when I'm reading and when we're doing homeschool. And then I have a few DVDs. This is When Harry Met Sally. I like to do these, like, traditions where I have these certain movies at certain periods of my life or timelines. And I know that there's like a scene in here where one of the ending scenes where they're at a New Year's Eve party. So my plan this year is to watch this and the movie Trading Places, which I have not seen in so many years on New Year's Day or like after Christmas leading up to New Year's Eve. So this will be one of my New Year's, New Year's Eve movies. And then this is Grease, just a classic that I just wanted us to own for our collection. And then this is Gilmore Girls season two. So I just found season one at a thrift store and I was excited to find season two. I think I got this at Half Price Books. I don't know if I mentioned that, but some of the things are from Half Price Books. Okay, so now I have some random things. Some are gonna be things that are gonna be in her Christmas stocking because like I told you guys, I'm starting to do Christmas shopping now. Uh, whenever I see something that looks interesting, I just buy it and put it aside. And then pretty much I'm finished by shopping I'm finished shopping for Christmas by usually like mid-November, if not sooner. Okay, so this is just like a fun hygiene item that I'm putting in my daughter's stocking. This is from Target. This is made by Dennis for Kids. Flavor is Monster Slime, fluoride, anti-cavity toothpaste. So I don't normally put toothpaste in her stocking, but since this is like a unique toothpaste, even the packaging, like I just look at, it's just so cool. It like has this like very modern style. So we've tried this brand before, but a different flavor. 
We've tried like a couple different flavors by them and I like, we like them both. I, I even like them, but this one we never tried. She never tried. So I'm gonna just like save, put this aside and put it in her stocking because I think it's really fun. And then um, I got this for myself. I don't shop a lot for myself. So when Christmas comes around, I like to buy myself a few things and then put them aside and then I like to open them like I don't wrap <laughs> I like to pretend like oh it's like okay uh I bought this for myself but I'm gonna be I won't be able to light this until Christmas so I will like put this aside and then I have a little pile that I like to buy stuff for myself that's just how I am I don't buy extravagant things just like little things like this so this is introvert I try to pretend like if I were shopping for myself and I was someone else what would I buy me because I buy so many things for my daughter and for my dogs and for everyone else that, yeah, I like to get stuff I really like and I'm picky. <laughs> so this is an introvert candle from Target. It says, featuring a common blend of vanilla and the scent of canceled plans. It's just so cute and it smells really good because I love vanilla. So it smells really sweet uh, and I love it and I'm gonna put this aside. They have a bunch of these So if you go on Target check them out if you like stuff like this, they have like extrovert introvert They have like a million they would make really I think a cute gift But I'm the only introvert in my life. So it's going to me Okay, so now I have like random things. Okay, so I okay, so I have some other random things that are from my daughter and I'm not sure when I'm gonna give them to her, but this one is just a pair of pajamas from Amazon. I have not opened it, but it's just green stripe, 100% cotton. The brand is Leverett. I love this brand. I've been ordering uh, pajamas from Leverett since my daughter was a toddler. Very good quality in my opinion. And no, I, this is not an ad or endorsement. Like I'm just I'm just sharing with you, with you guys for fun. Um, this is just like my, one of my favorite brands to order from on amazon we like 100 cotton. so even though these are like green and white and they have like and this is also size 12 but since they're green and white you would think i bought them for christmas but not really i just i really like stripes and i don't usually do green or primary colors but lately i've been obsessed with primary colors because my whole my whole daughter's childhood she mainly wore like black white and gray and uh, I'll buy her occasionally other colors that she likes. Like she had this big stage where she only wanted to wear pink. I bought her pink, but you know, I'm drawn to neutral colors, but lately I've been like obsessed with like green and red and blue, mainly primary colors and then green and like yellow. Like, so well, like red, yellow and blue primary colors and then also green. So even so because they're more this is more associated with christmas even though i didn't buy them for christmas i don't know if i'm gonna give these to her in her stocking because she just will be wearing these are long sleeve too by the way sorry um they're like long sleeve of pajamas so anyway sorry i'm like going on and on like i might put these in her stocking or i might give them to her on christmas eve or i might just give them to her tomorrow i'm not sure but i think they're really cute and they kind of are christmas eve but kind of not I, to me they aren't okay so um continuing with clothes this is something else this is gonna go in her stocking i'm probably just gonna like, put it really cute like hanging out this is just a black and white i can't tell you guys like honestly i don't know if it even said but basically it's a stripe beanie oh you know what i thought it was black and white but it looks like navy but that's okay okay it says gap on it and it has just a little cuff and she really needed we we she needed another new beanie for winter, and um, it really doesn't get that cold in Texas and Austin until like December maybe, and then especially like January February. So she'll have time to wear this if I give it to her on Christmas. So that's that. And then um, these are just really plain pair of black uh, size twelve, um, just black plain one hundred percent cotton um you know cotton spandex whatever uh leggings so i try to buy 100 percent cotton when i can because i do the laundry and i have a sensory disorder and i just like the way cotton washes and wears too but i, I try to buy cotton um okay so even though i placed this order from the gap.com because the gap old navy share a website but this one's from old navy 
Um, I'll take this one out of the back because I already opened it. But this one's just a cute size 10, 12 large uh, dress. It has, again, I'm like exploring my love of color. And my daughter is like whatever. Like she prefers to wear black and white now. <laughs> but she likes some color a little bit. So this is a cute little dress um, with the kind of flare out bottom. And it's also, I believe, 100% cotton. And yeah, so this is just a pretty little short. This one's short sleeve. But um, you could also say this is kind of Christmassy, but that's not why I got it. It's like when I buy a lot of black and white stripes, those colors come out on Halloween and people think, oh, you're buying stuff for Halloween. And I'm like, no, we dress like this year round. <laughs> um, and then now that I'm starting to buy like red and green, it's like, oh, is that for Christmas? And it's like, no, this is like for any time. But <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, so here's another dress. This is from The Gap. And this one is really pretty. It's going to be hard to show on this small little camera, but... It, now, so this one's not 100% cotton based on the bottom because the top is, this is like a size 12 and because my, my daughter's 10, but she's tall. Um, so she, yeah, I'm already buying her size 12 because like pants, they're like really high waters on her if they're not size 12. So this one, I think um, I'm going to give her this. I might give her this as like a Christmas gift as like an outfit. I'm not sure because it's really pretty or I might let her wear it on Christmas Day. I'm not sure yet, but um, just a really pretty long sleeve. The top is cotton and it's like really well made. I, I got all this stuff on sale too. There have, Gap always has sales, but yeah, so it's just a really pretty, um, you know, dress. But yeah, so that's that. And then I have like one more thing that um, I'm going to give to her. Also, you guys, if you like Christmas stuff, um, stay tuned because I'm planning on filming a lot of hauls when I start getting more stuff for her for Christmas. And then, of course, I'll always do my end of the year what I got my daughter for Christmas video. Um, okay, so these, I haven't taken them out of the bag. These are from The Gap. Look how cute. Okay, so the last thing are slippers. These, it was literally an impulse purchase. I like was on so they have like a non-skid bottom this is size three four my daughter's like in a size three shoe um so i got her size three four it's like faux fur of course these little like teddy bears oh my gosh these are just so cute like i wanted a pair for myself they just give me like this like sweet little cozy like christmas vibe or something so um those she's definitely getting for christmas and i'm gonna put together like an outfit of like pajamas probably what i just showed you guys that's what i'm thinking i'm doing like a whole cute little outfit okay so that's everything of my mixed haul i hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching bye